again everyone. Today I have another of my needle books to share with you and if you stay with me to the end I'm going to share the pattern details so that you can make your own. So let's jump straight in with a flip through. This needle book measures approximately seven and a half inches by about four but you can make your needle books to your own dimensions. I've used this fabric that I've had for a while. It's a remnant and it's so pretty, it's a paisley design. I love it. I've put a nameplate on the front with a little label so and so, a button with a clock face, and I've made this ribbon out of some fabric just by stitching along and adding a couple of cotton reels to the, and then stitching it to the midline on the outside. Makes a lovely closure. Okay, let's have a look inside. So on this lining side to the cover, I've put a couple of pockets in. I've also added lots of buttons. They're useful to have handy. In this pocket, we managed to hold quite a lot. There's a tape measure, a couple of button cards, Another card for writing on, there's a thread picker, a crochet hook, I've added some beads on a pin here and a little charm here, there's a tape measure ribbon I've just sewn on for decoration. This is a piece of felt sewn and for pins and a little sewing machine charm. This these are what I call the pages, so they fit inside the lining and cover, which you'll see when you look at your at the detailed pattern. On this side of the page, I've added another little pocket, like a, a long side pocket, with some pretty fabric and some felt with a couple of pins and a needle ready to go with some thread on. It's a lace butterfly just for decoration but you could just take it off and use it on the project. There's a needle pack here from one of our Etsy kits which I've made up and there's a piece of foam with a needle ready to go. That fits just in there. On this side I've made a scissor case, just two pieces of fabric sewn together and I've added some ribbon just to hold them in place, just a small pair of scissors. There's another ribbon there to hold some bits and bobs, some pins, there's a safety pin there that's called a French style pin and I managed to find these and they don't have a, a ring at the end like the normal safety pins so you can put the beads and buttons all the way round they're rather fun and very handy here we've got a ribbon with a thimble on and I've got the um, adjustable style thimble rather lovely I've made a pin cushion here by just sewing two pieces of fabric together and putting some foam in so that and it's on a safety pin so you can just detach that and uh, use it where you want to and it's just rather handy to have a little pin cushion pop that back in there There's some beads on another pin, and a charm, a lace flower, and here I've got some ribbon, lace, and some swatches of fabric just to use in a small sewing project. On this side of my page, I've made a pocket. It's a deep pocket, and I'll show you how to do that in on the detailed pattern at the end and in here I've got a couple of cards 
for writing on and a little junk journal so I've just added a bit of fabric there to make a closure and some wool with a button on and this is I've just made up with some card and filled it with some tea stained paper different sizes just for to make notes and these pages are from a book that I've been using to make a sewing junk journal so it's got rather lovely images there of sewing some stitches and some pictures of crochet and knitting so that's rather handy to make notes in another handy feature so and lovely deep pocket you could put lots in there on this side of the page we've got some more pin cushions with felt and a needle threader some more buttons and I've layered this so that it stands out it looks rather nice on the back of the cover on this lining page some more felt and I've added some beads a wool charm some pins some more of the tape measure ribbon and on this side I've added a pocket so I've just sewn a flap onto the lining there and added some charms and on that side I've put a pin with some beads on and here there's a little lace pocket with another button card and these wool and thread cards that are on our Etsy site and in here I think I've got some buttons, some wooden buttons just a little pocket there that's very handy so lots you can hold so much in these lovely sewing needle books so now we've had the flip through check out the pattern instructions you can pause the video anytime to get the details and if you make one please let us know I would love to see your craft you make join us again by pressing the subscribe button and bell so you don't miss any of our crafty makes and designs and if you've seen our videos before you know we love paper crafting and needlework take care everyone bye for now